there's a huge gender gap when it comes to science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And there are so many job opportunities available in these fields. So my aim or vision for starting this organization is to encourage more girls to venture into these fields so that they can take advantage of these job opportunities. Three years down the line, we've done good work. We've been able to empower over a thousand kids all over Ghana. We're still working on empowering more. Um, but the road has been just like this road trip to Takade, a bit bumpy. Sometimes it's hard to raise funds, sometimes it's hard to convince parents and schools to give us access to their kids. But with more work and putting, it, putting in more efforts, we are able to encourage and empower more girls into these skills. And this is our first international competition and we are very excited because we are an all-girls team being chosen to represent Ghana internationally. The problems we face as students in Ghana is that science, technology, engineering and mathematics, we only thought the theory aspects of it. So STEM gives us the opportunity to learn science, technology, engineering and mathematics, to learn those subjects practically by giving us the opportunity to use robots to purify water. Growing up, I was always interested in knowing what was happening in devices and appliances. So I would actually crack open our VCR and open it and see what's going on in it and then reassemble it. That sparked an interest in me. And so in the university, I decided to do actuarial science. Um, after that, I got a scholarship to do software entrepreneurship. In, during these periods, I realized there was a huge gender gap when it came to these subjects. And so that was why I decided to start an organization, STEM News, to help empower more girls to come into STEM. I love fixing things and solving problems. So STEM gives me the technical know-how to do that easily. In our parts of the world, and in other parts of the world, really, um, women are believed not to like to do difficult subjects like coding and mathematics. But I believe there's a huge opportunity for us women in Africa to code because it is very systematic. And as women, we are naturally systematic. We pay attention to detail, so it is actually in our forte. So I believe there's a great opportunity for women in coding in Ghana. My mentors are easygoing, they are approachable, and they are women. So talking to them is very easy, and they are very reliable. There's this myth that coding is not fun and it's difficult. It is challenging, but I wouldn't call it difficult. I think the way we teach these subjects is very theoretical and so it doesn't make it interesting enough for kids to want to do it. So what we do is we use a practical and fun-filled um, approach to teach these subjects. We use gamification, we use very practical methods to teach these subjects and that sparks a great interest in kids. My friends are systematic, they are careful, they are too careful with. <laughs> and we work together for quite a long time now. So we believe we can bring our ideas together to build the most amazing robots to win this competition. I would advise parents and teachers to encourage their girls and students to pursue these subjects because they help them foster problem solving skills and creativity which is needed in every 21st century career path. Go to Ghana! Yes.